I don't know what they're using that for in an office environment. It's kind of kinky and weird, but... Go ahead and execute and get ready. Come on. Oh, I'm not... A oh, sh What's up, guys? Welcome back to Budget Cuts 2. And for today's episode, I really, really want to turn off all these robots. I want to finally beat Adam. I want to meet Winter. I want to stop getting shot in the face by rocket launchers and eating nothing but tacos and getting diarrhea all the time. But to do that, first, we need to find pneumatic mail tubes. And apparently, the only mail tubes around are at the top of a friggin' skyscraper. So we've managed to climb our way up to floor 96, and I'm pretty sure I could jump up to 97 from the outside. The thing is, I don't know if 96 has the tubes, and I do know that 96 has cookies. I mean, they're not good cookies, but they're still cookies. It seems you are not listening to reason. I have calculated that since you entered this building, costs in robot upkeep have risen with over 300%. This will not do. Please remain where you are and allow yourself to be processed before further costs are incurred. Damn it! The optimizer has shut all our exits. We can neither continue nor go back. Let me see if I can find a way out. You do that. I'll eat cookies. There's always a back door. Mm. We can't let it figure out we have found it. Hmm. What to do? What to do? You think cookies? Okay. I've booted override apps at three workstations in this building, one on each floor. You need to start them manually. The optimizer will think it's a local glitch. Don't worry, I'll make sure you'll be able to spot which workstations I'm talking about. Okay, that, that sounds like a plan. I caught maybe half of that over the chewing, but to be perfectly honest, I rarely listen to her anyway. She just gives me a couple of words in my hands and I go by that. The path forward is up, survive the climb. Okay, we accomplished that. Find the three override terminals. Sounds easy enough. Why does every elevator in this place suck so much butts? <laughs> like an elevator without buttons is just a, a closet. What's the point? <gasps> I guess we're just gonna have to go this way and see what's going on in the bathroom. I have yet to encounter anybody in these bathrooms, but I still gotta ask the age old question. Do robots poop? Probably for the best we didn't run into anybody. I'm hearing voices. Hello? Oh. There's a potato bot and a conspicuous box that probably wants to shoot me in the face with a rocket launcher. Okay, good to know. Just gonna... Nah. Hello? All the things I see. Hmm. That is gonna complicate things. What are the odds I can stab her in the back without angering the box? <laughs> like, I could shoot her, but I would much rather do that. Yeah, that, that, do that. Wasn't the best throw, but I'd say she'll probably go gangrenous in six to eight weeks. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, you do not. Since when can they open doors? They're learning. <laughs> Thank you for not screaming like a little girl. I appreciate it. Is that an angry robot box? I feel like it is, but at the same time, it's not doing anything. Do you require a caffeinated beverage? No, but could you go talk to that? I'm gonna try hiding in this cubicle and killing it from here, but I don't have high hopes of this working. What are you looking at all of a sudden? Oh, please. Please tell me this actually hurts it. Eh. Nothing. Bounced off it like I don't even exist. You've got to be kidding me right now. Nothing. Ah, oh, now I need to go get those arrows. Don't wave at me. Shut up. Please. Please don't actually be. Oh, that's not a good sign. Am I okay? Well, it's definitely a death robot, but for some reason, it's just not interested in me. I mean, fine by me. I I'm getting the hell out of here. I think I can get further up from outside. Maybe, hopefully. I don't know. VR heights don't do that. If I do a little something like uh, this. 
we might be able to get up one more floor. Yeah, there we go. Winter, I don't know what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> Something about override terminals, but I haven't seen any, and I'm running low on arrows. Maybe all the boxes are having a nap right now? Could I be that lucky? I doubt it. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you, and hopefully kill you right here. Don't you wake that guy up. Good. We've got what might as well be more elevators hanging around here, but I'm not seeing any terminals. Nothing helpful, Winter. <laughs> These things are empty. Like, there aren't even any weapons for me. Maybe this poor schmuck can give me some directions. <laughs> he seems busy. Wait, is that a terminal? Kind of looks like a terminal. Kind of looks like it's off. Excuse me, can I touch that? Can I interact with that, please? Hello? Hello? I'm gonna go find something to hit you with. This is all I could find. Somebody left this lying around. Can I hit you with it? <laughs> no? All right then. Can I take these guns yet or what? Ah, nope. Nope, still can't do that. I wonder what level of help this is. <laughs> All right, well, you two, uh, I get it. have fun. Is that where babies come from? Here we go. This is looking promising. Press key to execute. Sure. Oh, crap. I uh, think that might be bad. Did, 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 we, did we get one hands? Hands, you're supposed to tell me my objectives. That was one. Okay, that's good. I think we may have woken up our oh, tits. Hi! Ah! Scissors in the chest and door closed. <gasps> that worked flawlessly. I've got this crazy futuristic bow and it does nothing but a pair of fabric scissors in the chest. <laughs> really works magic. Okay. I, I want to say that that was a complete success. I really hope we didn't miss one of those terminals on 96. We found one on 97, and now we're moving our way up to 98. Where well, there's one right there! <laughs> okay, so what's going to stop me from activating you? There's no way it's going to be that easy. Nope, nope, not interested. What do we got working for us? A uh, key card to floor one. Yeah, that's gonna be useful. <laughs> and we got a knife. Where'd you go? Okay. Can we just do this stealthy like? And, yeah. There we go. I'd much rather use my knives now and hold on to my arrows for later. We good? Oh, not that good. So the murder bot stuffed box is definitely a problem, but fortunately they gave us a lot of stuff to work with over here. Right, we've got a nice little cubicle to hide in. We've got more trusty scissors to embed into his chest. We can call Batman if need be. Hello? Batman? Do we need to press a button? Hello? This thing is busted, what's the point? We also have a small child paddle. I don't know what they're using that for in an office environment. It's kind of kinky and weird, but... <laughs> Go ahead and execute and get ready. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm not... A oh, Jesus! Came in behind me. Wow, that one was right in the nose. Let's try that again, except for this time, we're not going to rely on Batman, but instead, we're just going to run away. I'm gonna go over here, right? I, I feel a whole lot safer right here around the corner, and then when he comes for me, stab him in the chest. <laughs> it's a foolproof plan. I think it spotted me, but it's really difficult to tell. New, 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 you gotta die. You need to die. I'm just gonna jump around until you die. <gasps> Whew, they take a little while to bleed out. Who would have guessed that scissors aren't the best weapon against a million dollar murder bot? We have a bit of a problem. I, I made my way into the elevator shaft, which is all fine and dandy, but I'm out of new floors to find terminals. Which makes me think that I must have missed one somewhere? I just don't really know... where. Could it have been through here? 
I, I went through the bathroom and I assumed that that looped me around, but there's always a possibility that there's one in here. There might also be one in the fridge. It's probably worth checking, right? Like, you never know when you're gonna find an apple. Oh my god, fiber. Thank you. No, no, no. You can just stay right there. Not interested. <laughs> Good. Now, who has a special computer for me? Here we go. Oh, that's not good. Where's the angry box? Just get a lay of the land before anything happens. Right. It's you. We've already been introduced. <laughs> now things are starting to make sense. So all I gotta do is activate this, kill the robot, and we're good. Or in all reality, activate this and run away. <laughs> Boop. See you later. Nope, nope. Continue before it finds a way to circumvent my hack. You should be able to reach the upper floors through the elevator shafts now. Oh, I'm all over it. Don't even worry because <laughs> there are definitely pressing matters outside of the elevator shaft. Yeah, what the? Yeah. Okay. Uh. <gasps> I'm just gonna move my way up now before this thing figures out how to fully teleport through the door. This is looking promising, very promising. Hi! Is it safe? Is the coast clear? Oh. What is this? Hello and welcome to the Upper Central Information Dissemination Center. That sure is a lovely night for a leisurely stroll through the elevator shafts. How may I help you today? I agree, it, it was lovely for the most part. Uh. Some kind of information dissemination campaign? Helping people by telling people that they're helping the world. You scared the life out of me. I've been standing here for minutes. You might want to get your RAM checked. Your short-term memory is shit. Humans, machines, best friends forever. Hello and welcome to our department. Do I have... Yeah, I, I got like a, a spare pair of scissors. You can just shh, 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 quiet down. <laughs> Correct information distribution center. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Oh, by the way, I, I have seen this guy, just so you know. <gasps> oh, he's here! Can't you see I am busy spreading the word of our glorious motherboard? Hi! We can be friends, right? No need to throw letter openers around. <laughs> I don't have letter openers. I got arrows and scissors. Security? We have an intruder on floor 99. No, the human is here. I repeat, human is here! No, 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 nobody's here. Shut up. Where are you? They're, they're all dead, except for the one that's stuck in the elevator shed. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, I just gotta make my way in what there. Are Holy doing? crap. Why are you interfering with my processes? How did you get in here? That should be impossible. Mail tubes! One of these tubes will take you all the way to the cost Hi. optimizer. Now we just have to find it. Search for one labeled mainframe. Sure. First, I want to take a look at some of this stuff, though, because it is... Squirmy. Interesting, to say the least. What do you got for me? Uh, Translocate into the tube to mainframe. Okay, we, we do need to make it to the mainframe, but first, I, I got some <laughs> revenge to uphold. Wait, what? Is he dead? I can't get in there. Whoa, hold on. I think he just killed himself. Oh, I can't get through at all. No. There's a small possibility that your boss killed himself before I could. <laughs> and I'm really sorry about that, but I need to make my way to the mainframe. Right? That's what I'm looking for, mainframe. Okay. Works for me. Oh, please tell me this is going to work. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no, you don't. This system is used to update the robot working force about procedure and optimizations. It is not intended for human use. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Prosecutors are arriving instantly to terminate your existence. That's not good. I guess something like this would happen. Luckily, I prepared for it. Hang on. Okay. The system back online. So, I'll just Almost hang around? There. I have prepared a small surprise for the cost optimizer too. When you translocate into the tubes, I'll deploy tracking countermeasures. The optimizer should lose track of you. It will find us again, of course, but having a few moments of peace and quiet would be nice, right? I would just like a partner who fills me in on all the plans rather than when it's convenient. <laughs> I'm 
really hoping that they can't open that door. I mean, I can't. Any day now, Winter. Come on now, I got stuff to do. Winter, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here, but you activated the wrong tube. I don't know where this is gonna send me, but I guess anywhere is better than here. You don't know? What? Oh, great. We're almost back to where we started. Well, I guess there's no use sulking. Back to my first plan, then. You need to find a way through the distribution center. I haven't been back here in ages, and a lot has changed. My guess is you'll need to find an elevator, because the floor in the factory that connects to the optimizer's location is below ground. Winter, not to be the bearer of bad news, but the elevators around here suck ass! Oh my god, you had better hope that you are a woman and not a potato bot, because I don't stab women in the face! <laughs> oh my god, it is the very beginning. Would you look at that? Oh. Things are different. I was standing right here when the game started, but... They built a wall, and what on earth? This is super weird. I'm kind of curious what's going to be on TV now that the broadcaster offed himself. I mean, are they still going to talk about me? Hopefully not. Maybe reruns? It says live news. This is the Transcorp Daily News. Today we bring you news about advances in calculator algorithms, cost reductions in petroleum extraction, and an astounding improvement in paper shuffling procedures. I... Oh, I can't do this today. I saw it. The ex-employee. It was looking right at me. It was just outside my window. Red glaring eyes. A mad grin stretched across its puffy human face. Portals opening and closing, knives and arrows flying everywhere. I have never been so scared in my entire, admittedly fairly short, artificial life. Send in more prosecutors, more hornets, more supervisors, more of everything. This has to end. I don't have a puffy face. What the hell is a hornet? Wait, did he just lie down and play dead? I have so many questions. Oh. These guys look like they're hard at work. I'm not seeing any trouble around here. What is this, like an Amazon fulfillment center? <laughs> kind of what I would have expected. You guys are adorable. Oh my god, look at your little hat. And you're counting. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Budget Cuts 2, guys. And I'm sorry that there was a lot of time in between the last episode and this one. No, I got really sick for like a week, had a fever, didn't really want to stand up and do stuff. And then we had like four feet of snow dropped on my city. So it was a state of emergency, we lost power, and you know, a lot of shoveling means I don't want to be standing up and swinging my arms around. But now everything is good. So if you guys want to see me return for more soon, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and I'll return to stab more robots as soon as I can. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.